Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. This is my Valentine's Day makeup that I created for all of you to help you while you're getting ready for Valentine's Day this year. I used my Too Faced Semi Sweet Chocolate Bar. I felt it was very fitting for the occasion. And Valentine's Day is on a Saturday night this year, so I decided to go a little bit heavier with the makeup, a little bit more smoky, dramatic, and I hope all of you guys like it. And let's get started and I'll show you what I used. I started with my Maybelline Fit Me Matte Foundation and this has become my new fave because it keeps me shine free all day. I did a review on this product so I'll leave that for you guys to check out. I set it with my Maybelline Fit Me Matte Powder on top and if you're wanting to try this line out make sure you get the powder too. It makes all the difference in keeping you shine free throughout the day. To prime my eyes I used Max Paint Pot in Soft Ochre and applied that to the lids and up onto the brow bone with my finger. I used the Too Faced Semi Sweet Chocolate Bar Palette for the eyes. If you don't have it, ladies, ask your Valentine for one. I used the shade Frosting as an all over base, and I thought it would be pretty appropriate to use my pink brushes from the SL Miss Glam Boutique line for this tutorial, so get ready to see some pink brushes. Next, I used my go to blending brush to blend out the line between my lid and crease before going in with the shade Truffled with the same brush, and I applied that on top of the shadow I already placed down. The reason I did that was to layer the shadows and get a subtle gradient between my crease and lid colors. So, if you're doing a smoky eye, it's best to use similar shades so you don't see any harsh lines between the colors you're using. In this case, the tones of brown, and then afterwards, you can blend those shadows together again. Here, I applied coconut cream, which is a matte shadow from this palette, perfect for applying to the brow bone to make it pop. Then I took Coco Chili, and I love this shadow by the way, and grabbed a paper towel because it was close and placed it against the side of my eye to help me get cleaner edges. This is an easy option you can use when doing the eyes instead of using tape, which can be too much around the eyes. I placed the color on and swiped my brush back and forth to apply it evenly, then used my fluffy brush again to blend it out. Next, I took a small amount of licorice with my crease brush from London Brush Company and dabbed the black to the outer edges of each eye. I took my first shadow brush and used that to blend out the color and spread the black evenly by flicking my brush in back and forth motions. And of course, I finished with the fluffy brush again to blend, blend, blend. I used NARS Creamy Concealer in Ginger to conceal under the eyes. I first placed it in a triangle shape and then up and out towards the outer edge of my eye to conceal the fallout from the dark shadows and clean up the muddy edges. I also used the concealer on my cupid's bow and just underneath the bottom lip to highlight. I dabbed this all in with my finger and then finished with my favorite blending brush from Real Techniques to make sure it was absorbed into the skin, then set under the eyes with my Fit Me Matte Powder again. I used my soft ochre paint pot again now that I applied under eye concealer and then took peanut butter and applied that to my lower lash line with a Cosetti crease brush. This is the only extra shadow that I added to the mix because I thought that the orange tone would add a nice warmth to the eyes. All of the shadows next are the exact same ones I used on the lids and in the exact same order. The best way to create a great smoky eye is to replicate what you did on top to the bottom lash line. This connects all of the shadows together and creates a continuity making it all look blended together. For liner, I used Stila's Smudge Stick in Oscar Fish and kept with my brown theme instead of using black which would break the eye up and be more dramatic than I really wanted this look to be. I added this to my top and bottom lash line and in my waterline. Here I applied these Dangerously Glam Lashes from the SL Miss Glam Beauty line. I look like lamb chop in this clip. Uh, I used the ELF HD Cream Blush after that for my cheeks. I started by putting one pump on my head and using my foundation brush to apply a small amount to the apples of my cheeks. This was my first time trying the HD blushes from ELF and I was super impressed with how pigmented it was. It applied really nicely and remember when using cream blushes to always start with less product and add more as you go. Using a cream also makes your blush last longer throughout the day, especially if you layer a powder blush on top. This was so pigmented that I decided to leave it as is and add my Smashbox bronzer over top to blend it all in and then brought the bronzer up into my temples and onto my forehead to give me a slight sun-kissed look. Because my eyes are so dramatic, I didn't add too much to make sure it didn't take away from the overall look. Then I used my Anastasia palette to highlight the face, starting just under my cheeks to make the contour I add next more prominent. I also used this on my chin, cupid's bow, and forehead. 
I use the same palette for contouring the hollows of my cheeks and nose. This is totally optional, but it finishes off this dramatic look. I'd line my lips with medium lip liner from Kevin Aquan, and if you haven't noticed yet, this is one of my current favorite lip liners. It works with everything from natural to dramatic. For lipstick, I use this one called Bright Natural Center from the brand Lipstick Queen. Normally I would wear a nude with this style eye, but I wanted to try something different. And finally to finish, I used a mix of the powders from the Hourglass Ambient Lighting Palette underneath the eyes, over top of the lips and forehead to highlight and add that final finishing touch. So that is my Valentine's Day makeup. I hope you guys liked it. If you did, make sure to give it a thumbs up so I can see. And if you haven't already, please subscribe to my channel. Thanks so much for watching and I will see you in the next one. Happy Valentine's Day. Mwah.